Good day everyone! So welcome to our second episode for Kinematics. Okay, so for today's topic, we would be discussing this following learning competencies. Okay, so based from our previous discussion, we have discussed position, velocity, and acceleration and its relation to a moving body and how do these three terminologies okay, relate to one another to define or describe a body in motion. So we also have numerically expressed um, the uh, phenomenon for a moving body using these equations. Okay, so we also do graphing. Okay, so um, nagtry tayo na i-analyze ang isang bagay. Okay, based uh, on its motion through illustration of a graph. Okay, so we all know that. Uh, the difference between velocity and acceleration is where uh, the position is changing over time. We calculate or we compute for the velocity. When the velocity is changing with respect to time, we get the value of acceleration. Okay, so based from this table, um, this is the relationship of velocity and acceleration. So if Velocity is positive, we have zero acceleration, meaning the body is moving to the right with constant speed and constant velocity. Okay, if both, both acceleration and velocity is equals to zero, meaning the body is moving or the body is not moving with constant speed and constant velocity. When the velocity is zero, the acceleration is positive, it means the body is moving to the right from rest, increasing ang speed, increasing din ang velocity. If a zero negative, the body is at rest at first, then moving to the left, increasing si speed, decreasing naman si velocity. So, speed versus velocity is speed is a scalar quantity. So, that's why, okay, dun sa ating fourth situation, increasing pa rin siya, but the velocity is decreasing because velocity as a magnitude, uh, both requires magnitude and direction. That's why it decreases over time. Okay? So, kasi it is going to the opposite direction. So, this is for uh, body, of, body in motion moving on the horizontal axis. So, how can we describe a body in motion, okay, moving on, uniformly moving on, the positive or negative y axis so we have free fall okay so based from this meme what's up madlang free fall so uh wag tayong tutulad sa kanya isa siyang uh hindi nag-iisip na nila lang ay tumalon sa building wag sana wag sana tayong umabot dito okay so free fall uh, let's go back to history of free fall first. So, the, the remarkable observation that all free falling objects fall at the same rate was first proposed by Galileo Galilei nearly 400 years ago. He conducted an experiment using a ball on an inclined plane to determine the relationship between the time and the distance traveled. Okay, so a free falling object is an object which is fall falling under the sole gravity of or under the sole influence of gravity. So, meaning, hindi po natin iisipin yung factor of air resistance. So, gravity lang ang dahilan kung bakit free falling bumabagsak ang isang bagay. That is to say that an, any object which is moving and being acted upon only by the force of gravity, okay, it is said to be in a state of free fall. Okay, so the rate of change of um, or the acceleration of a free-falling body is so important that physicists called it acceleration due to gravity. Okay, so that, uh, this is denoted by small letter G, which is equivalent to 32.2 feet per second squared or 9.81 meters per second squared, meaning... Ano po ba si acceleration due to gravity? So, we said that uh, uh, acceleration is the changing of velocity over a given period, period of time. So, kapag sinusukat natin yung change, okay, change ng velocity per each 
time, okay? Time reading, okay? Meron siyang amount or value ng 9.81 meters per second. So every second nag increase siya by increment of 9.81. So after 2 seconds, it is 19.6. After 3 seconds, it is 29.4. So the the constant uh, or the average change, okay? Nung acceleration with respect to the time range is 9.81 or kapag ka, uh, sa imperial system 32.2 feet per second squared okay so in free fall okay on earth gravity is not only the force that uh, an object or gravity is not only the force that acted upon on the object there's another or there's tons of uh, forces that can be acted upon. For example, on a falling leaf and um, uh, an acorn. Okay? So, uh, if we're going to compare who's gonna land first. Okay? So, di ba yung, ano, yung acorn? Kasi sabi natin, mas mabigat siya. Tapos yung, kung iisipin pa natin yung other factors or other forces acted upon by these two bodies, we have air resistance. Okay? May pinakamalaking air resistance sa kanila is yung maple. Maple leaf. Okay? That's why maple leaf would land after. Okay? After the air, the acorn. But, in this, okay, walang free fall na nangyari kasi uh, hindi yung gravity lang yung nag-act upon. Okay? Doon sa ating dalawang object. So, uh, kailan ba nangyayari ang free fall? So, kapag ka nasa isang vacuum space tayo. So, in a vacuum, acorn and leaf fall at the same speed because there is no air resistance present. Okay? So, tatandaan lang natin pag nagko-compute tayo ng free fall, we disregard or we neglect air resistance. Okay? So, kay uh, free fall, it, it, uh, we would be using same okay same equation as the kinematics equation or the equation for uh, x axis okay papalitan lang natin yung mga ibang terms or ibang expression para maging congruent dun sa din describe or sa ini-illustrate ni illustration kasi di ba si free fall from uh the sky okay supposedly normally towards the ground okay so nasa y axis siya so i-alter lang natin para mag maging congruent dun sa situation ni free fall so meron tayong dalawang dapat i-consider okay so equation of a bodies in free fall okay so yung may tinatawag tayong taking down tsaka taking up okay what do we mean by taking down okay T taking down means ibig sabihin Pababa, okay? Just like this illustration. Yan. Pababa dun sa cliff yung object mo. So, kunwari yung hawak mo dito, yun yung object in uh, na tinitingnan natin, na ina-analyze natin. So, pababa siya dito sa cliff. Normally naman kasi, free fall is always taking down. So, lagi kaya nga tayo, kaya nga sabi natin, fall. Okay? Kailan ba, kailan ba tayo nagkaroon ng fall na pataas? Okay? So, Yung normal state natin of free fall is ito yung tinatawag nating taking down. Okay? So, taking down, when the object is taking down, meaning from the sky towards the ground, we use this following equation and we follow G as positive. Okay? So, for example, nasa, nasa taas, bababa, positive ang gagamitin mong 9.81. Okay? So, ito, V is equal to v naught plus gt. Okay? Pinalta na natin yung a ng g kasi meron na tayong uh, constant value of acceleration which is acceleration due to gravity na equal sa 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay? So, y, uh, v naught plus gt. Okay? Second equation is y is equal to y naught plus v naught t plus 1 half gt squared. Third equation is V squared is equals to V naught squared plus 2G multiplied by Y minus Y naught. V is equals to 1 half V plus V naught. Okay? So, the value of G is positive 9.81 meters per second squared. But usually, when this is our situation, Y naught is equals to 0 and V naught is equals to 0. Normally, nagsistart po tayo sa rest. Okay? 
So, yung second natin na kailangan i-consider is yung taking up. Okay? So, sa taking up, yan. Okay? Just like this diagram, nagtumaas muna siya bago siya nag-fall. Okay? So, uh, when the body is taking up, okay, we treat the Y as negative. So, lahat lang, lahat nung may acceleration due to gravity na part or may G part, we uh, use negative 9.81. So, V is equals to V naught minus GT and so on. So, you have to take note or you have to analyze first what is uh, described on the problem and then uh, tingnan kung siya ay taking down or taking up. Okay? Kapag taking down, positive ang uh, G. Kapag taking up, negative ang G. Okay? So, uh, let's try, okay, dito sa ating isang example. A ball is dropped, V naught is equals to zero from a tower 70 meters high. How far will it have fallen after, okay, these points of time? One second, two second, and three seconds, okay? So, um, we could use uh, this equation, V is equals to V naught plus GT, Okay, plus GT kasi taking down. And since, uh, since um, V not is usually zero, so tanggalin na natin siya. Okay, kunan na natin yung instantaneous values niya dun sa ating mga points of time. So, V1, okay, 9.8 times 1, 9.8 times 2, and 9.8 times 3. So, ito yung magiging value, 29.4, ah, uh, sorry, 9.8, 19.6, and 29.4 respectively. Okay, so, um, and if we're going to uh, graph, okay, this uh, values, okay, over uh, our line graph here, so this would be the gra graph would look like. So, dito pinapakita lang na ay constant nga, okay, constant nga ang pagbabago ng acceleration, okay, kapag free fall, okay, so which is 9.8. One. So, that is all for this lecture. Okay? So, next lecture uh, would be more on the two-dimensional uh, body in motion in two-dimensional spa spaces, which is in projectile motion.